ladies and gentlemen, from the School of Food and Nutrition, Michael Dixon is presenting a piece called, or his uh, presentation is Modelling Biofuel Film Formation in Dairy Wastewater. Welcome, Michael. Sustainability. When you hear that word, a lot of thoughts probably go through your mind. Sustainability in the dairy industry, and as my friend Heather said, you probably think of farmers, their cows in the field, poo, pee, and our waterways. But our dairy industry is not just cows in the field. There are numerous factories around New Zealand that are producing milk products. And where there's a factory, there is wastewater. We want sustainable treatment methods for this wastewater so that we can keep on producing more milk products. On the right-hand side of the screen, we see a simple flowchart from factory to irrigation. This is one such sustainable treatment method we use for dairy wastewater. All we do is we use a DAF tank to remove the solids, such as fats and proteins that we don't want on the land, and then we irrigate the remaining water. This is sustainable because one, the wastewater contains nutrients that we use as fertilizer, so we don't have to put other fertilizers on the ground, and two, it's water. You're thinking, what's that about? Well, if we use this water instead of our rivers and streams, we actually have less environmental impact. But the problem is, when there's nutrients for grass growth, there's nutrients for bacterial growth. And this is where I come in. The top right-hand picture shows bacteria growing on the irrigator surfaces in the form of a biofilm. This biofilm got so thick and strong that it completely blocked up the irrigators, stopping factory processing so they can't make money, and also cost the company money to have people remove it by hand. Why the bottom picture shows a scanning electron micrograph of the biofilm. It's not the grass, as which we would expect with the stringy substance. This is actually the biofilm. This means the biofilm is very strong. I got a sample of this in the lab, and I had to use a scalpel to cut it, because I could not cut it any other way. What am I doing with this? Well, I am taking the nutrients in the wastewater and looking at how they affect bacterial growth. Hopefully, I will develop a model that will predict this biofilm formation in the wastewater. This will allow factory operators to put in factors such as nutrients and temperature and predict what growth is going to happen in the wastewater system. If there's going to be a problem, a red flag will be raised and they can either change the processing operation or add something to the wastewater to kill bacteria to prevent this biofilm formation. Keeping a sustainable method going, allowing water onto pasture to grow grass, to feed cows, to produce more milk so we can earn more money. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Judges. Yeah, thank you, Michael. Um, thank you for a presentation for which something which could have been remarkably um, complex uh, and distilling it with such simplicity. Um, I, I like the way that you um, developed your thesis that it had process applications and real real life, real time, real company, real commercial applications, uh, and, um, and, and to, to talk about off-farm sustainability um, is, is very topical, so thank you. Yes, uh, well done, Michael. I think uh, sustainability often is a, a buzzword out in, uh, in the community, and you've identified the broad context of the daring industry. But also I liked, uh, just as Ben has alluded to, the fact that you've got a flow chart there and you've identified the step by step. But more fundamentally, I think what you've identified is that often what might occur in theory is quite different in practice. And so I certainly wish you well for the model that you're seeking to develop to address this issue. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for Michael Dixon.